What's up Aries? Happy New Year. This is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of January. That's January 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. So what's coming in please for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of January. Any love messages for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of January. What can you tell my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first two weeks of January. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles and the Tower and the Devil. Okay, Aries, you've got someone coming in that wants to reconcile something here with you with the Six of Cups. And this could be someone that you have built some memories with or someone from the past. For some of you, an ex, but doesn't have to be. This is just someone that there's a sense of nostalgia. They're wanting to come in and reconcile something with you. They want a new beginning because we have two Aces here on the table. There's an Ace of Wands and an Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new passionate beginning and something very committed with the Ace of Pentacles. Now with the Tower and the Devil and the Six of Pentacles, the Tower and the Devil to me means this could be a person where there's heavy attachments, there's desires, but the Tower to me means that there could have been some kind of an abrupt ending or some kind of a confrontation with this person because what I feel that this person was offering you maybe was out of balance, okay? Six of Pentacles. The focus now is on reciprocity. So this person is coming back in and I do feel like they have an intention for something um, quite committed with the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords. They wanna communicate that to you. They wanna speak the truth. Um, but I do feel like there's some unhealthy habits and attachments here, perhaps elsewhere, or there's something um, maybe that was quite toxic about this situation. The Tower card does mean that there's often a shift that has to happen so things that are not working must go so it could be that maybe things exploded or there was a confrontation um, because there was a lack of reciprocity and now it's like this person's maybe having their own tower maybe they're realizing that things must go in order to move forward um, they do want to talk to you with the king of swords um, three of pentacles for some of you you work with this person otherwise this is a sense of wanting to cooperate with you so they want to communicate with you and tell you that they want to work on things with you um, and the magician card means they're trying to manifest this new beginning okay for some of you there could be outside energies that are involved here now the devil card this could be as i said this could be toxic habits maybe this person um you know, has some addictions or maybe there's some outside energies that they haven't been able to release or let go of. But the Ace of Wands, as I said, there's a lot of passion. I feel also this person desires you a lot with that Devil card, that's heavy desire. The Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles means that you have a foundation with this person, but it's like things haven't um, eventuated, right? I don't think you've been in a commitment with this person or it didn't get to where you want it to get to. Um, tell me a bit more. Yeah, it's like this person built something with you and then turned their back and walked away with the Eight of Cups and now they want to reinvigorate the passion with you. Um, or maybe you turned your back and walked away and that was sort of what caused that tower. The High Priestess card is here. So it could be that this person hasn't revealed everything to you. The High Priestess card can be secrecy. It could be that this person has been working on moving away from... Um, other things right with that devil card as i said to you it could be that this person's working on cutting away things that have been interfering talking about the ace of pentacles the two of swords okay but something's been stuck with this connection um i do feel like this person has the intention to come in and say they want to you know give you this new beginning give you something more but i do feel like you have a sense of um you're not sure anymore okay two of swords things have been stuck something has been preventing this person from giving this to you um, you know, to date, and I think by now you're almost not sure if this is quite what you want because five of wands, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of conflict, and I feel like there's outside energies that perhaps meddle with this situation um, and have kept the connection stuck. I feel like they want to talk to you about that with the King of Swords because um, four of pentacles, they hold on to you. I also feel like it's almost like this person maybe doesn't want you to have anyone else 
So it's like they're coming in and maybe they want to talk to you and tell you that they want to give you this new beginning. But I do feel that there's still this sense maybe of withholding. So the High Priestess card to me means, yeah, things are not sort of revealed yet. Um, tell me about the King of Swords. One more on the King of Swords. The King of Cups. Okay, so they may want to communicate some emotions to you, King of Cups. You know, maybe this person withholds, they don't express their full emotions. So I think they're coming in to tell you something about how they feel, King of Swords, King of Cups. And maybe tell you that they have some regrets, Five of Cups, um, maybe to do with whatever happened between the two of you. And as I said, that the Two of Cups does mean that there is an opportunity here for something. With the Two of Cups, this is a relationship, but they are focused on things that have been and things that have gone wrong. You could be very focused on things that have gone wrong as well. Um, I am getting this person, it's, it's almost like they have the intention to give you more. But on the other hand, it's like they still haven't completely left behind what's interfering and, and they still need to let go of certain things. So I'm not necessarily convinced, Aries, but let me get a little bit on their feelings and intentions towards you. Tell me about this person's feelings and intentions towards Aries now in the second half, oh, sorry, the first half of January. Okay, the Six of Wands. So they definitely want your attention, Aries. The King of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles again. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so we have a King and a Queen of Pentacles and an Ace of Pentacles. So they do have the intention of offering you something very solid. They want victory with you. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Two of Swords, okay? They definitely feel like things have been very stuck. Um, there is some kind of a decision that needs to be made. Maybe they feel like you need to decide or they need to make some kind of a decision to cut away stuff um, that causes conflict. But I do feel like they do see you as someone that they want commitment with for the long term. Two of Pentacles though, okay? And then the Three of Cups and then the Three of Pentacles. So I do feel like Aries, as I said, they have the intention they want to cooperate with you. They want to tell you that they have the intention to um, work on something very committed. However, I do feel, Aries, there's still something that's keeping this person stuck. The Two of Pentacles means they may still be weighing up their options. There may still be outside energy involved here, Three of Cups. Um, so just be mindful of that, Eight of Wands. Um, they are going to communicate with you and move towards you. So. Feel it out, but I've got the Six of Pentacles again. So as I said, Aries, it will be different for each of your situations, but I'm picking up that this person is going to move quickly towards you because they do desire you. Um, but the Six of Pentacles to me means be mindful that this person is still not repeating an old pattern, okay? Because I'm getting that there's still some outside energy that's interfering and it's possible that this person may promise you a lot and may not deliver, okay? Six of Pentacles. Tell me a little bit more about that. The chariot. Okay, they do want to move towards you and move forward. Five of pentacles from feeling left out in the cold. Maybe you've left this person out in the cold areas. And maybe that's why they're moving forward and moving towards you. Um, one more. Four of cups. Okay, because I feel like they feel that they've missed an opportunity with you. So I think this person can see a future with you. They're having that realization they don't sort of want to miss an opportunity um you know or maybe you standing back and um you know sort of taking a stand maybe that's what you did giving them a tower um they're now feeling a bit emotionally rejected so i think that they're coming forward as i said that taking a stand the queen of swords so perhaps you spoke a truth to them or cut them not out or cut them away so i think that now it's like oh no i missed an opportunity um, so anyway, be mindful, Aries, and just assess the energy as it comes in and just make sure you're on the same page or otherwise I think, you know, you need to kind of put yourself first. Um, yeah, let's see. Pay, guys, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so you can't make it up. So just pay attention to the red flags, Aries. Be mindful. Use your intuition. High Priestess is highly intuitive, so, um, you know, pay attention. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Well, there is here a lot about communication. There is a king and queen of swords, right? The king of swords came out before and then we've got the queen of swords. So I think there will be an honest conversation. Um, 
you know, where maybe you can bear some of your feelings or they're going to tell you how they feel, express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I think that they are coming in to express something about their emotions, as I said. Um, unrequited love, there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. Well, the four of cups energy, I think by now you're a bit like, I'm not sure if I want this cup anymore. And they have made you feel by their behavior that it's unrequited, though this person very much desires you, the devil card, but they've sort of treated you not, um, you know, they haven't necessarily treated you with respect. Wedding, this situation involves marriage, so there could be um, that there was a marriage or there's some outside energy, or otherwise, maybe you're moving forward with this person and you're going to get married. I mean, that's what they want to talk to you about. Um, or maybe you're moving on because that's what you want, okay, Aries? Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they're also coming in quite playful with you very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Well, I think that what I'm picking up, Aries, is that this person is coming in because I feel like they want you to give them another chance and they want to tell you that they want to work on things. King and Queen of Pentacles wedding, so they do see a future with you. Um, decide what you want, right, so that it comes to you now. So make sure that what they're offering you is what you want or that their words, their actions match their words, okay? Or otherwise, decide what you want. If what you want is, you know, marriage and long-term commitments and something that is reciprocated, if they're not giving that to you, decide what you want because you will have that elsewhere, okay? All right, Aries, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.